Hello, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about the Zello application for PC. If you have a smartphone or an iPhone, uh, Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone, please refer to my other videos regarding the use of Zello on these devices. If you don't know what is Zello, Zello is a walkie-talkie application. It changes your smartphone or PC into a worldwide walkie-talkie. The application itself on the PC version is kind of difficult to understand but there is a very steep learning curve so you will learn very quickly how actually this application works. Once you have created an account on Zello I recommend you to go into the status and edit for, uh, pro my profile to eventually upload a picture of yourself or whatever you want to have as a picture and fill uh, in all the information in the uh, profile uh, information uh, window <coughs> so people who want to be in contact with you will know who you are, where you're from, uh, what languages do you speak, etc. Because if you go into the profile application and you fill in the languages it is important because uh, in a further stage I will explain it to you you can have trending channels and depending on the language that you choose it will pop up the channels that might be interesting for you and might be interesting for the region where you are so please do not forget to indicate what is your common language that you are using uh, I'm going back to the main application um, window and from here on I'm going to start to explain how this program actually works like any walkie-talkie uh, you might have channels um, and uh, in Zello you can also have contacts now what is a, a channel what is a contact a contact means that this is a person that you know and you want to approve to talk with or you want to have as a person to have a point-to-point -point conversation a channel on the other side means that you might have in one channel up to 1000 users you can talk to of course it's a walkie-talkie application so that means that everybody needs to talk after each other so it's not like full duplex like a phone system where if you talk and the other person talk you can hear them so basically it's a push to talk application on the first screen that you see in the first you will have two tabulators so you will have reasons and you will have contacts. Now what does it mean? If you go into the contact tabulator you will have a list of all, s all together the channels and the users. Now this is a channel and the channel is very nice uh, or very well uh, easy to, 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 to see that uh, the channel actually is a channel because of the round circle and the little dot in the middle. This here is a user, it's a standard user that comes with the application just to do some audio tests. This is another user that I have approved. This is a user that has been approved but is currently in standby mode. I will explain and come back to this in a few moments. And this is a user that I am waiting to be approved as a contact. So I just send him a contact request and I'm waiting his authorization. As long as this person has not been authorizing me I will not be able to talk with this person um, I will come back to the channel uh, system right away but let me first explain you the users if you see this icon here it means that the user is available and uh, if you start to talk with this user they will hear you right away now let me explain you. Uh, here you have another user, um, which is my smartphone. And if I click on there and I push on this button over here, they will hear me right away. And there will be a point-to-point -point contact between myself and this particular user. Let me do it. I'm going to push over here. As long as I am uh, willing to talk, I will need to push. Because it's a push to talk, like a walkie-talkie. If you want to talk, you need to push on the button. So I'm going to push right now and say one, two, three, and you will hear my own voice coming back over my smartphone. One, two.
two, three. So this is how it actually works. It's important to know that uh, in front of every user you have a little icon which indicates the current status of the user. A status means that you can actually be in available mode, you can be also in busy mode. Now you can see the user Kurt 16OZ457 is in busy mode. If I start to talk to this user right now, he will not hear me, but the audio will go in some kind of a history. So uh, another uh, possible uh, status is that the person is offline uh, or is currently in standby. Now what does that mean standby? Standby means that the user in this case um, here you will not be able to talk with this user and the audio if you talk with this user who is in standby mode they will not even it will not be recorded so it does not go in some kind of a history. Um, also important to understand is that the user who is in standby mode is still reachable but you can reach them by sending them a small text message so Zello has its own text messaging system built in um, <coughs> let me explain it how it works if I want to send text message I can click on the name and I can right click on there and I can just send them a call alert so this is a alert an alert there you go and it functions like a small SMS text message system now be aware that this is a pretty aggressive SMS system in the sense that if the person is in standby mode it means that they might have turned off their Zello application on their smartphone there is still a small fraction of the program that continues to run on the smartphone that captures these small messages when you send the message and let me just do it I'm going to go offline I'm going to exit the application on my uh, smartphone you will see me in standby mode I'm going to send myself a text message and let me do it right now this is an alert <coughs> I'm gonna send it you hear my phone just uh, starting to beep this is a text message how it sounds the text message of Zello so if somebody is offline turned off their application on their smartphone they are still reachable now it's an aggressive way of sending an SMS be aware of that because the user on the other side will have this beep sound every minute until they have acknowledged the alert from Zello so in the sense it's a uh, pretty aggressive because if the person on the other side is asleep they might just wake up because of the alert information and uh, they might just wake up so be aware of that I'm going to wait a couple of more seconds and you will hear my phone just giving this alert again and it will just continue to alert me until I have really acknowledged this Zello um, alert or Zello SMS message um, now you can add users and to add a user you can go to tools and you can add a contact you can try to search for their email address or you can try to search for their username let me just do something like that I'm going to search for let's say uh, um, to November Charlie 605 who is my friend and it will go and search apparently it's not the correct uh, username uh, let me just check here on my phone here I'm going to open my Zello application and uh, I will try to find his uh, exact information now um, anyway I think it's self-explanatory uh, I think it explains itself so 
I'm not going to make too much of a, a fuss about it. Uh, but uh, my point is, if you want to add a contact, you can add it this way. Now, um, next to all these users, so just be aware, if you click on here, it means that when you push to talk, you will actually only talk with this user. If you light up this one here, you will only talk with this user. If you push on here, you will only talk with this user. Okay. Now, you can sometimes also group users together. There is uh, something like create a group. And let me do that. Group 1. <coughs> and you can actually drag one of these users into these groups uh, multiple users, let me do uh, two users and when you click on here all the users in this particular group will hear you so if I start to talk one two three you can see okay you can see that three of them actually lighted up and this is because there's three users in this particular group uh, now I'm gonna delete this group so this is also an option and uh, uh, just one little message for uh, Mr. Christian out there in Tonga. You can use this system for your um, radio station. It's uh, because there's one more thing I want to say. The channels, I will come back to this right away, uses a lower bandwidth than having a point-to-point -point contact. So the codec and the audio quality when you have a person-to-person -person contact uh, is higher than uh, the audio quality when you are in a channel. Now, uh, let me explain these channels here. If you uh, go to the channel, uh, you can actually see who is in the channel. In this case, there are only three users in this particular channel at the moment. I can go back to the main screen by pushing on this arrow that was right here. Um, before maybe I should talk about channels, I should talk about the status of the application. You can change the status of your application uh, right here. Downstairs you can see, you can go to busy mode. Now what is busy mode? Busy mode means that the sound and audio that comes from the Zello application will not go through your speakers but will go in some kind of a history and you can always play back this history so somebody who is in busy mode means that this person here is uh, not be will not be able to hear you but will be able to listen to your messages later by just going to the history now let me just give you a small example and i am going to talk from my smartphone into this application here on my pc and you will see what will happen this is a test. One, two, three. If somebody starts to talk and you are in busy mode, the application keeps a history of the information and the audio that comes into the application. And it will actually indicate here, uh, with this little icon here, that something went into the history, so somebody has tried to reach you. Let me just this click on there. Test. And One, if you two, click three. on there, if you click on there you can listen back to the history you can also go to the history just by going to uh, view history and it will also give a reflection of all the activity in the Zello application let me go back to the main channel and I am going to uh, send two messages this is message number one. This is message number two. And you can see in the history here that there is a small indication of a two, which means that there are two messages that you have been missing because of the fact you are in busy mode. You can always click on there this is and message listen back. Number one. This is message number two. So you can listen back to the history. You can also go and click on the arrow to quickly play back all the different histories and uh, listen back to all the information that was sent to you. Let me go back to the available mode and uh, if uh, somebody tries to send you a alert 
coming back to the alerts you will see it appearing that way there you go so you can answer and if you answer it will actually light up the user who send you an alert so you can quickly answer back to this particular person channels this is important and very important to understand what is a channel the channel in the contact or in the list here is indicated by this small little icon a channel means that in one channel you can have multiple users in this case there are now five users in the channel 27.555 now this means that if you double click the channel you will have a list of all the different users same story you can actually start to talk in the channel to be aware and to be sure that you are talking into the channel go to the main screen and just click on the channel if you want to talk into the channel to 70580 you just light it up and start to talk over here if you want to only talk into the channel 555 you light it up and you start to talk and push to talk over here if you want to talk to a particular user in the channel you can have a display of all the users over here and you can also start to talk in private with one of these users even if they are not a contact so let me do that for you I'm going to go to this user over here if I start to talk I could talk to this user I'm not going to do it because it's uh, late at night where they are and I don't want to wake them up I'm going back to the main screen and I need to explain you uh, very fundamental uh, regarding the channels you can add channels and to add a channel you go to tools and you go to add the channel if you add a channel you can search for all the channels that exist on the Zello application and I can tell you there is about a couple of millions of these channels so uh, there's many channels out there let me explain you if you want to search for a channel let me see uh, let me say channel Thailand I'm just giving an example you will have a list of channels that will appear over here uh, I have written down a typo there you go and you will have a list and you will see how many subscribers there are for every single channel and if you want to add the channel you just go there and you add the channel and finally you will have the channel in the channel list over here so there are currently five users in the Thailand channel and you can visualize these users just by clicking to the channel I'm going back I'm going to delete this channel and I'm going to take a channel that is very very busy at the channel America many people in there and uh, maybe USA is going to be even better and you can see there's 13 people right now in this channel and there are uh, 56,000 people actually uh, subscribed to this particular channel so I'm going to edit and I hope there is some activity because I want to show you something very fundamental there are currently 15 users online now imagine you have a couple of very busy channels uh, here what happens if in one channel there is some activity and in the second channel you are connected to there will be some activity the there you go I can disconnect from the channel so you can disconnect just by going here to connect and disconnect to the channel okay now something that is very fundamental and very important to understand if you have multiple channels the application will actually play back all the activity in the different channels in a queue it will queue up so if in channel 1 somebody starts to talk and at the same time channel 2 somebody starts to talk you will hear the one that started talking first in channel A and it will play back channel B and queue it up and play back channel B when the first channel the activity has stopped 
So please understand, this is very important. If you are connected to multiple channels, it will actually queue up the information on the different channels and play it back the way that it actually came in. Why is this important? Because if you are in a channel and you don't want to be interrupted by any user or channel, other channel you are talking to, you can turn on solo mode. Now let me just delete this channel again and let me explain you what is solo mode and how you turn it on. This is channel 27555. Imagine I only want to talk with people in this channel and only on this channel. You can right click and turn on the solo mode. Now what happens? If I am in solo mode, it, there will be a small icon over here that will indicate that you are in solo mode. If I start to talk with my smartphone to this user over here on my PC, I will not hear my own. One, two, three. But it will go into the history. And you can see it right here. So it goes into the history because I only want to listen all the activity in this particular channel I am in solo mode on which is 27555. So I One, can two, play back I can play back the uh, history but I am still in solo mode on triple five. This is very important especially if you are going to use our repeater system. Um, you can turn off solo mode just by clicking on this little icon over here and at that stage you have disabled the solo mode so you will hear all the activity from all the users, the contacts and the channels again in a queue system. Now uh, you can also create your own channel. So if you want to create a channel you can create a name for this channel, you can give a description and you can indicate the system that you want to give or the specific uh, specifications of the channel. So um, you can create a channel, you can create a name and uh, you can indicate the uh, channel uh, specifications and this is important because if you create a channel, if you want to create your own channel, you need to know about the different um, channel types. There are three types of channels. Anybody can talk and listen, so this is an open channel. Only owners, moderators and trusted users can talk to each other. This is a select channel. And another type of channel that you have is the channel called Zellocast, it's this one over here, where only the owner and the moderators can talk and all the other users can listen. So in fact if you have a channel and it's an open system there are no different user levels in the channel except there is a creator, the channel creator and you've got the users. Okay. But if you create a channel and you change the uh, channel um, system or the channel uh, type from open to, for example, select, a select, so a selection of users can use this channel, uh, then you will add actually different levels in this particular channel of users and you might have trusted users untrusted users you can have moderators and you have the owner of the channel every type in this hierarchy of uh, channel um, users have different priorities so of course the owner is the king of the channel, he has, he's the god, he can do everything. The moderator, uh, the owner can indicate somebody to become a moderator in this channel. And the moderators can also approve users and approved users are called trusted users and the non-approved users are untrusted users. That's a select channel. If you have the Zello cast, it means that mainly this is used for people who are approved so the 
channel moderator and the owner are the only guys who can talk in this channel. Um, I will make a separate video uh, regarding this system of uh, types of channels and the uh, channel types and users because it's a little bit complicated. Uh, let me now explain you all the different options that you have in the uh, Zello application. Uh, we've gone over all the different things here except uh, for um, uh, changing status message but I think it's obvious what it means and the change password sign up means that you can create a new user uh, from here as well so uh, you don't have to go through the uh, installation um, um, uh, installation uh, wizard again to sign up for any new account. Uh, let me go to the uh, options. Uh, one more thing that is important, uh, maybe I forgot to uh, mention this, you can also see over here uh, which is your internet connection uh, quality. So if you see that this one is pretty low it means that you might just have interruptions and the bandwidth is uh, probably not sufficient to have a smooth uh, audio uh, TX and RX. And uh, one more thing I want to add is the um, recent. Uh, this is the last activity uh, that you have had in the uh, Zello application. So you can quickly go here and see who has been active or what channel has been active the most recently. Now, so let me go to tools and options and I'm going to try to go very quickly over the different um, settings. Display notification while sending a message has to do with the alerts. So if you send an alert you will get a message displayed or it goes into the history. Displaying notification while receiving a message. Same story. So this is for receiving. Displaying trending channels. Let me just turn that on and uh, let me just go uh, to the trending channels. I'm applying here. So uh, if you go into tools and add a channel uh, you will have uh, a trending channels over here so these are all channels that are actually interesting for the language that you have chosen in your profile so if you have chosen something like Japanese you will all have Japanese channels over here if you have chosen uh, ja um, Chinese you will have Chinese channels over here so you can actually have a list of channels uh, that might be interesting to your location I'm going to turn it off again, so I'm going to turn off display trending channels. Uh, change status away, uh, important because uh, I turn it off um, also because otherwise everything goes into the history and uh, probably you might not just be aware that you are currently in uh, away mode, so in uh, uh, status away. Um, Allow multiple instances is interesting if you have different accounts and you want to be connected to the Zello application with two or more accounts. Uh, uh, so you can turn that feed on that feature. Uh, sign in when Zello starts. So this is something I want to uh, turn on. It's easy when you just start the program. It will automatically just sign in uh, with the last um, uh, username and password that you have used if you have saved this in the sign in uh, screen. Uh, language is obvious and updates while well you can of course uh, check these updates. Controls. This is uh, interesting. Uh, push to talk. If you want you can map one of these buttons that you have on your computer just to use this button as a push to talk. I can for example use the space button and instead of using the mouse I can click on the space to uh, uh, push to talk. Hands free, hands free is uh, another one let me just uh, put it to uh, let me say uh, uh, the uh, shift uh, shift key so let me do that and repeat last message if you quickly want to listen back to the last message you can map one of these keys with uh, something that you have on your keyboard so uh, it's very easy. Turn on the Vox for hands-free. Um, I'm going to turn it off for a second because I want to explain it to you. But let me first go over these here. These are all alerts that you can turn on and off. Uh, so if a new conversation, so if a message comes in, you will have this kind of a beep that comes in front of uh, the message. Let me just play it. Okay. Uh, incoming message alert. This is when a new message comes in. Um, clear to send alert. 
okay this is uh, some kind of a noise that you get so these are all alerts uh, you can play around with it I think it's pretty straightforward now I turned off the doc uh, turn on the Vox for hands-free because I want to show you something I have not used this button over here um, but um, you uh, we always have been using this one here one two three so uh, you can actually actually also lock uh, so if you click once it will actually lock your TX and, and, and you just have to toggle with your mouse to turn on and off the transmission of your uh, Zello application now this works if you don't turn on the Vox uh, system um, so if you uh, go to control and you turn on the Vox system it will actually be uh, uh, having a Vox function so if you turn this one on I don't talk okay so when I stop talking when I uh, stop talking it will actually or when I start talking it will go into TX mode so this is the Vox feature you can control the Vox feature settings by going to the Vox um, uh, group here and uh, there you can indicate the threshold uh, for the activation so this is the when you put it lower you need to speak louder when you put it higher you need to speak uh, less loud to turn on the Vox so to automatically be careful it's very sensitive the deactivation threshold means that uh, you need to have a specific amount of uh, noise that goes uh, below a level um, for a while to turn off the Vox so that's another one this trigger time means that uh, you need to have a little bit of uh, noise before the Vox is turned on and this is in milliseconds uh, so in this case it's two seconds before it starts to turn on and then the relaxation time means how long does it need to be silent before the Vox actually turns uh, off so this is what this Vox is all about I will give a separate video if you want to set up a uh, uh, repeater system for uh, your CB radio in SSB because uh, this is actually what we will use if you want to use and set up a uh, repeater system audio very obvious this is uh, the input of your uh, application uh, sorry the output this is the input you can uh, change the levels S noise suppression might be interesting if you have a lot of background noise so you can turn that one on this is the amplification uh, to turn uh, the audio higher and lower for your audio uh, settings and then connection here now if you get into trouble uh, with internet connection you should go to this part of the section of the program turn on TCP if you have some issues and uh, try again with the uh, TCP settings turned on uh, and see if it gets better I would not recommend to turn on the proxy server uh, because it will uh, create supplemental delay and uh, yeah the proxy authentication comes with the proxy server so people who know uh, something about proxies they know what I mean with this let me just go back to the program and finalize this uh, video um, always always check that you have the latest version this is version 1.4.0 uh, so uh, always try to use the latest uh, version um, of course um, this is very self-explanatory uh, this is an incoming message this is an outgoing message when you go to the uh, history of the program and I think we have gone around the different uh, uh, the different uh, uh, aspects of the program. Uh, if you uh, if you like this uh, video, if you want me to make some new videos, just put the thumbs up downstairs. This uh, YouTube video. Thank you for watching, and uh, I strongly invite all the CB operators to join us on 27.555, where all CB operators actually join together. 73, thank you very much and uh, hopefully we can talk in, on the radio or on Zello. Bye-bye.